Welcome to SDET Adda. I am Raghavin Mishra and in this video, we are going to learn how to send put and delete request using Karate framework. So some key point of put request. So put is idempotent means if you try to make request multiple time, it would result in the same output as it would have no effect. Put should be used when you want to modify a resource which is already a part of resource collection as put method would replace the resources entirely put a resource can be cached all right so when you want to update any uh, resource in the api server you have to use put method if you want to update some if you want to do partial update you can use patch method instead of put and uh, uh, some key points of delete request so what are those so delete is again idempotent means if you try to make a request multiple times it would result in the same output as it would have no effect therefore sending a a delete request again and again on the same resource would end up in the same result as resources already gone okay so but because of above point the first point calling delete second time on the same resource would result for not for not form okay status code since it was already gone this actually makes delete no longer idempotent so two, uh, 200 okay status codes will be returned if resource gets successfully deleted and the resource response message representation stating uh, the status while 204 no content could be returned if the action has been enacted but the response body is empty all right so here you have to consider you have to understand a couple of points like put is uh, similar to post request wherein you have to request api so you have to send the payload request payload to the api server okay and it will update the resource in the api server wherein when you send the uh, delete request it will delete the resource from api server so with that let's begin okay so here this is my eclipse ide and i have maven project called karate and when you have maven project you will get folder structure like this so in src test java in the test i'm going to create a feature file called put and delete Put and let's say delete dot feature and I will just delete the existing content or the data from the feature file which I get. So you may see the icon. So so you have to install Cucumber plugin uh, from the Eclipse Marketplace. So once you get that plugin installed, you will see the mm, icon for the feature file change to the Cucumber icon, right? So here. I'm gonna write the feature and this is going to be a Gherkin syntax okay so it karate actually uh, follows the same uh, syntax or convention like uh, cucumber okay so it is the extension um, to that cucumber framework all right so here this is api this is put and delete a request demo in karate framework okay so let me write the scenario and what could be the scenario so given and I need URL now. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same rec.res.in site request response dot in, and I'll see. So this site contains the dummy data and the dummy APIs, so which is very useful. You can use. You are going to use the put request, right? So let and it is going to update. 
so let me just close it and uh, let me open this in the new tab and this is going to be your url okay and and what is the request what is the request payload the request payload is given here so click on this this is your request body the data payload which you are going to send it to server okay so let me add this arrange this json data payload in a single line and when a request is when 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 method is request we have already written when the method is put then we want to see the status right so here you can see this response so we can expect 200 uh, response for our put request which is going to update the data in api server or resource in api server so with this i'm gonna just print the response with this i'm going to let me do pretty format and save it and i will run this file feature file so my test will be added here in this karate report our test output will be here in karate summary html so let me open this in the system editor so it will open a default browser for my report okay so you can see all the request and you can see like how much time uh, those requests took okay so you can see the response so this gets updated and and this is the put request okay which we have <coughs> which we have made okay all right so uh, you can still i mean like uh, like you, um, i have shown in my previous video like you can read the response you, you can read the request from the different uh, i mean from the file json file okay which is kept in the json file you can validate the response which is there added in the uh, json file and you can put some assertion point also right so let me add the my next scenario which is oh this was this is my put request demo and this, this scenario is will be talking about delete request okay so uh, we don't need a request as such here for delete and but we will we will certainly need an api call okay so here let me open this in the new tab and this is going to be my delete url so it will delete the resource from the server and the response should be 204 okay Uses to and the method is delete. I have said I have to change it to delete and the response should be four. And it is not going to print the response, but anyway, I am I'm just keeping this line, this syntax, and let me do pretty format and save this file and run this feature file. And let me refresh this. So you can see uh, we have two scenarios uh, covered one for put and and the second scenario is for delete request.
in karate framework okay <clears throat> so all right guys <clears throat> all right guys so this i hope uh, this information was useful and uh, if it was then please do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and uh, share this uh, channel with your friends and i'll see you in next video thanks for watching and keep learning